my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision You lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted with you Love is an ocean, you can drown me The sweet embrace, the lovely taste I taste and see I'm under grace, the place to be It means I'll never need an umbrella I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather Whether or never I ever Understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch And still I saw my clutch But I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end, this is living The life I've been given's a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living to death So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end, this is living The life I've been given's a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living
shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me
What's up, church kids? It's me, Carl. Woo, Carl. You don't have to scream. They can hear you. Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to be here. Well, that's good. Yep. I learned so much about the Spirit of God last week and cannot wait to learn more. Me too. Church kids, our faith declaration is God's Spirit lives in me. Hmm. Hey, Carl, can you say that five times fast? God's Spirit lives in me. 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 That's not easy, church kids. You should try it too. It's definitely a tongue twister. Before we get into today's lesson, we are gonna play a game that Charles and I played a very long time ago Ages. called 10 Second Movies. Boom. Church kids, if you know what episode that is from, give yourself a big pat on the back and high five. Wait, 10 Second Movie? What kind of movie is only 10 seconds long? That really doesn't sound like a movie to me. No, 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 Carl. That's just the name of the game. See, what we do is we're each gonna have five movies and we have to explain them in 10 seconds to the other person. Whoever guesses the most wins. So, let's do it. Okie dokie. Are you starting or am I starting? Whatever you want, just no screen peeking. Okay, I'll start. Okay, this is an animated movie mm. with a little blue baby with spiky hair and four other children with red hair. The Smurfs. No, <laughs> no. It's the Will, the Wilgabies? The Wilgabies! Uh, excuse me, it's pronounced Willowbees, as in Willow and Bees. That was a good guess, though. I've never, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> okay. You got an easy one. Okay. You got all the easy ones. <laughs> Great. I'm a man, and I talk to animals to help them with their needs. Dr. Doolittle. Is that right? It's just Doolittle. It's just called Doolittle? Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, no! You ain't never seen I've never that one? seen that one. Well, do Whatever, it's got to be doctor somewhere. Nope, it's just Doolittle. He's right. just he's just not Wrong. a people person. Okay, this movie is about a young lady who has like a ukulele in her backpack and a nice short haircut with like bangs and like a painter type hat on. And <laughs> she's like in the wilderness staring off into the sky where there are flaming balls of light, which are called what? What are flaming balls of light called? The sun. No. Stars? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the first word of the title. Stars. And then it's a young lady who's also known as a... Does she have a backpack? Yeah. <laughs> With the ukulele. <laughs> Does a backpack have a map in it? No, she's not Dora the Explorer. The first word is star of the title. Starlight. No. <laughs> she's a young lady, which means she is a... Star girl. Yeah! Nailed it. it. Great guessing. Even though I just fed to you the entire title. But it's All right, this one <laughs> is actually very easy. Great, that's what you said about the last one I got wrong. So. It's it's a video game. Okay. He's blue. Goes in a little circles and collects coins. The what? sound that he makes is <laughs> when he's charging up his powers. I have no idea what you're what? talking <laughs> It's, he's blue and he's he got spiky coins. hair. He's like he's like a short little dude. He's an animal. Oh, 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 he's a um hedgehog, right? Yeah, but what's his name? <laughs> I don't know. What happens when the uh, what happens when an aircraft breaks a sound barrier? It's called a blank bone. Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> got it right because I fed it to you. <laughs> that was pretty good. So this movie is about a man and his dog, and they, um, actually I don't think that's these, these all came out in 2020. Yeah, this one came out February 21st, 2020. This has an old man and his dog, and they're in like the cold, it's very cold, because there's snow and ice and wind, <laughs> it looks like. Some mountains, he's wearing a beanie, <laughs> he's got some gray hair. When you answer the phone, you have just gotten a what? Call. Yes, that is in the title. 
I don't know how to explain the other. I feel like, I, you know what? I feel like you're just explaining <laughs> the picture that was sent to you, and you're not actually explaining the movie at all. It's I've never seen the movie, Carl. Uh, answer the call. No. <laughs> it's like, okay, another word for crazy. Like, wild. Yes. Come on. Oh, wild call. Nope. <laughs> it's what? like, blah, call, blah, blah, wild. I have no clue. After you said that, I lost. Yeah, I do not know. Okay, the movie is The Call of the Wild. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen dun, that one. Dun, Sorry. Da, da, da. <laughs> Two brothers embark on a journey to save their dad that isn't cut in half. But oh, oh, it's just his legs. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of this movie. Disney Pixar. It's something about like. People say this before they go, or as they're about to leave and embark on a journey. Imagine. Let's go on a quest! No, imagine somebody on a horse and saying, Crusa! <laughs> what was it? On horse. Yeah, there you go. All right, what's the score? <laughs> no Woo! Okay, this is about a young boy. Who frequently wears a red scarf and rides a what are these things called? What are those things called that mall cops ride? Segway. <laughs> yes, he it's, rides yeah, a segway, segway and he has a like friend, I'm assuming, or a pet, perhaps. Is the pet um, like an animal? It's a polar bear. Oh, yeah. No. Can't see that I've had I've seen this one. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know anything. I feel like that's pretty dead gibble. Was do you have you, you've never seen this movie? No. So you're only explaining the, <laughs> I, the picture. Yes. Yeah, but I feel like, I mean, if you've seen it. Is there a description? This guy, according to the title, he doesn't succeed, so he's a failure. Yep, that is in the title. And he makes. It's such a dark title. <laughs> he makes a lot of mess, up, mess ups, which is also known as a. A fail. No. <laughs> he messes up, which is a. Yeah, what, what is it? It's based on a book. From what I gather <laughs> from this. Okay, it's called Timmy Failure. Mistakes were made. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Timmy? Small detective. Big Did imagination. Did you say Timmy Failure? Yeah. Came out February 7th. Man, I missed a lot of movies this year because, you know. All right. Here's this one. Um, there's a bunch of these little guys. You used to get them in McDonald's Happy I'm trying to make it relevant to you. You used okay. to get them in McDonald's Happy Meals. They have crazy hair. Um, Trolls. Yeah, but it's the one that came out this year. Two. <laughs> Three. No. Another name for globe. World tour. Trolls world tour. Yeah. World world. Stick that in your happy meal. My last and final movie is about this girl who does not have a funny singing sidekick because they cut him out of the movie. And Move he's on. just yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Seen it. Didn't like it. All right, now this one, he's a dog. Um, yeah, he's a dog, he's with a group of friends and they are traveling around in the mystery machine. <laughs> what? I have no idea what you're talking about. In the mystery machine? I'm gonna go. <laughs> Is it new? It came out this year? It's been around since the 80s. Oh, so it's not new. <laughs> but no, this one came out and it's just the uh, animated version. Okay. No, the first one was on Cartoon Network. Oh, okay. Or Boomerang. Well, I didn't have anything but Channel 8 PBS Kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it's a movie, not a show. His best friend is Shaggy. Oh, 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 oh. But it's, oh. it's only one. It's called Scooby. And I've seen it. Minus the Y. Scoob. <laughs> I have seen that one. That was the only time I've ever watched Scooby-Doo, which is when I watched that movie. Scooby-Doo was my fate. I used to come home every day and turn on channel Aww. 32 and sit there because they would play Scooby-Doo every day. Well, I watched Cyber Chase on channel eight. <laughs> that was great. Yes. Church kids, let's check in with the teacher, Jeremiah, and see what game he has for you to play today.
Oh, what's up church kids? It's me, TJ Myers, and we're gonna be back at it again with another fun game. All right, I'd like to call this game the Fruity Fruity Looty Doopty Loopy Whoopy Bracelet Game. What you're gonna need for this game is a lot of Fruit Loops and some pipe cleaner. Okay, the point of the game is you're gonna have 60 seconds to get as many Fruit Loops on this pipe cleaner as you can, but there's a catch. You can only use one hand. And also, it's gonna be another race against an opponent. Okay, so once you're all set up with your pipe cleaner and your Fruit Loops and you're ready to go, you can start once the timer begins. The game begins in three, two, Oh, Tracy, you, you don't have to be so loud. Oh, sorry. Carl! What? Do you remember this month's memory verse? Yes, I do. 1 John 4, 15, if anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. Nice! Are you ready to listen to today's memory verse rap? Yes, I am so excited. Get up on your feet, church kids, and let's do this! What's going on, church kids? So pumped that you are here today. We got a new memory verse rap coming your way. We got three speeds for this one. Okay, we got slow, we got medium, and we got fast. Hope you can keep up. If anyone acknowledges what, what, that Jesus is the Son of God, what, into today's lesson. Let's do it! Oh boy. Anyway, we're gonna continue learning about the Spirit of God, so buckle up, church kids, cause here we go! I'm buckled! <laughs> ha! I'm Ricky, but you can call me Agent R. I'm Jamie or Agent J. I like my Slim Jim smoothies shaken, not stirred, and in the trash cause it's gross. True. Our current mission is to uncover the location of Agent Q, who mysteriously went missing. All we have from him right now is this postcard that doesn't make any sense. We'll find you, Agent Q! 
Speaking of which, we got another transmission from Agent Q's wristwatch camera. I'll pull it up. I'm so glad you guys found my postcard. And I'm so glad that I thought a while ago, if I'm ever captured for trying to steal the Declaration of Independence, I should come up with an elaborate series of codes and clues for people to reveal my location. I mean, that is really paying off in a very entertaining way. So, so to find the next clue, you're going to need to get into my stylish briefcase. You know the one. It's like super stylish and it looks like it's full of secrets. It is full of secrets. It's locked though, so you'll only have five minutes to crack that baby open and get inside and get those clues. It's got a combination on it, so here's what it is. It's put uh, Someone else is coming. I can't, I, you'll find the combination. I'm sure you will. You're super smart. There's one other thing I was going to tell you. I've had this 80s song stuck in my head. It goes, I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. She can roll the visions in my eyes. Hmm. I wonder why he has that song stuck in his head. Well, it could be a clue. I mean, at this point in time, almost anything could be a clue. I mean, even this next segment. There is an invisible struggle between good and evil. Jesus made it clear that we should always be aware the spiritual realm exists. Though hard to understand, it is a matter of life or death. And it involves you and me. Our mission is clearly stated in this verse. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. But you can't do it on your own, special agents. In this invisible struggle of truth versus lies, you need all the help you can get. Good news, it's time to suit up. God's got some gear for you. This gear is highly classified. Equip yourself to take a stand. And never forget, good always wins. So, you've been trying to do the right thing, right? You're trying to do what's good. But you realize that over and over again, you keep messing up. You keep failing. And then you try again and you fail again. In the age-old invisible battle between good and evil, between truth and lies, you realize that you need all the help you can get. But here's the good news, is that God has some gear for you, and it's time to suit up. Let's start by knowing God's truth, because that's the quickest way to erase lies. So wrap God's truth around you like a utility belt. So righteousness is not a word that we hear on a daily basis, but it's something you know when it's not present. We say things like, that's not right, or what they're doing, that's not right. You see, God has a very clear definition of what is right. So aim for that target and cover your heart with his order like a vest. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed by fear that you can't move? Or, or do you just let worry stop you in your tracks? Yeah, I know the feeling. I do it all the time. But whenever worry or fear try to poison you, guess what? God's peace is the antidote. So lace up your shoes and take that calming cure wherever you go, because there is nothing as calming as the peace of God. As followers of Jesus, we need protection. We can trust with confidence that God is for us and God is with us every single day. You see, God's promises are real. God's promises in the Bible are real and true for your life and where you are right now. And when you have confidence and trust in who God is and His faithfulness, it will shield you like a faith force field from any danger that might come your way. So salvation literally means to be saved. So what are you being saved from? Well, God wanted us to be with Him forever, but our sins separated us from Him. So God became man, died on a cross, and rose again three days later so that your sins could no longer keep you away from Him. And when you believe that, when you ask 
For God's forgiveness, you receive His salvation. And for those of us who have done that, we don't need to second guess it. We don't need to be insecure about it. Believe in your heart and in your mind that God sent Jesus to rescue you. And that's it. It's, it's, it's done, it can't be undone. He's not going to change his mind. When you receive his salvation, it's yours forever. So you don't need to raise your hand every time the pastor asks who wants to accept Jesus. You don't need to renew anything. It's, it's, it's there, it's done. God chose you. You choose him, it's a done deal. You don't have time for mind games. So don't get lost in overthinking it. You know your mission. Stay the course and see things for what they really are. Look at all the pictures on the wall. Mm. Ooh, and the fake people. Okay. All right, five minutes. No lasers. Okay, okay. we're good. Um, all right. Do numbers or places. Written on their shirt. Okay, let me check their pockets. Pardon me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, there's a flashlight in here. Okay, so they're. Okay, it's not working. Jamie, there are, there are numbers on the wall, but they're out of place. Could be. I, have, I found a flashlight. <gasps> oh, okay. Ugh. Okay, yeah, there's no batteries. All right, pardon me. Okay, oh, 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 okay, I feel something in here. I'm hoping it's the battery. Oh, it is. Okay, great. So this is an eight, and this is a three, and there goes where this awesome. should be. Awesome, is this ultraviolet? Is that what this is called? I think it, it's ultraviolet. <laughs> eight, okay, I'm gonna check their, their suit to see. Okay, eight. nothing on this one. Let's Ooh, try. Jamie, maybe we need to turn the lights off. That's a great idea. Sunglasses at night? Yes, okay. yes. All right. Here okay. we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, I see an R. Oh, there's letters. Oh, okay, Ricky, there's a U, there's another U, there's an L, there's an R, and there's a D. Okay, what do you think U, U, L, R, D might mean? U, U, wait. Okay, so since it's a directional lock, we have a U, so that's gotta be up, and then there's another U up, uh, L for oh. up, left, R for right, and then D for down. Give it a go. Okay, up, so. Up, left, right, down. <laughs> up, up, left, right, down. Up, up, up left, up. right, down. Left. Left. Right. Right. Down. Down. Oh, it opened up, it opened. Yes, okay. Yay, what, yay, All right, what's in it? Is it more picture frames? Uh, here, I'm gonna hit the lights. Okay. Okay. Ooh, there is a briefcase inside. Is, is it ticking? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, good. Good question. Okay, it's a combination lock this time, so we need numbers to open this up. Oh, that's what the, oh good, it's the numbers that matter, okay. Um, all right, things that are alike. Oh, and they're separated, right and left. Yes. So, or left and right. Mm -hmm. So maybe the left code's over here and the right code's over here. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, Ooh, look, but two, we have two Bibles. Two, and, two people holding a Bible. Look, there's, uh, the females are on the left side, males are on the, the right side, and that's how the mannequins are set up. Two boots and two helmets. <gasps> okay. So let's go with that. So we have, we have this, we have this, we have this, and then we have this, we have this and this. Um, <laughs> okay. Eight, Ooh, five. wait, wait. Don't try that thing yet. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. 174. 174. All right, 174. Oh, that's side yes. open. Okay. Okay, so right. eight, three, five is what I have for. No, try five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Woo! Yes. It's open, it's open. Okay, so now we have. More. More secrets? decoding to do. What is this? These are decoders. These will help us uh, solve the clue from the uh, laser room. But there's so many of them. Usually there are. decoders are just singular in, in the shape of rings. Yeah, I think we need to get the card and we need to try these out on them and see what it decodes. And then we'll get the puppy. Uh, hopefully. Are, are we and not Agent Q. A... Yes, Agent Q. That's okay. right. We, we're we here to save Agent Q, not get an adorable new puppy. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. Oh, crawling out was a great idea. It just helps to feel more spy-like. Did we do it in five minutes? 
So what do we do? Learn God's word and apply it. Learn God's word and apply it. We learn God's word and we apply it. That's how we stay sharp. Stay sharp. Well, when you face day-to-day -day struggles, equip God's truth, His righteousness, God's peace, faith, and salvation to cover up your life like armor. To cover us like armor. That's how we suit up. And when we suit up, then everyone, everyone seen and unseen, will know which side you're on. I mean, one of these decoders has to match the postcard, but which one? Sounds like something we're gonna have to figure out next time. I mean, he could have just told us which one it was. You know, say why. Could have just say. Hey, How do you face your struggles? If you want to face anything and everything, suit up. Equip truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation. That's the gear God gave you to stand and be strong. Good always wins. Sunglasses on. Ooh, haha! <laughs> Enjoy the ride. How cool is it that we get to work alongside our God and that He gives us everything we need to do so? We get to take action. So suit up. We use those tools and we go do what God has asked us to do. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that we get to work alongside you, that we don't just sit and watch you do everything, but we get to be a part of what you're doing. God, and that you give us the tools that we need to do that, that we can suit up. God, so call us where you mean us to go and remind us every day that we already have the tools we need to go there. Amen. All right, so some of you are pumped right now, and that's awesome. But some of you are like, salvation, it's a confusing word. When do we even use that? So here's what this is. We need salvation because sin separated us from God. And God sent Jesus to repair that relationship. And Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And he defeated the grave and rose three days later. And you might be sitting there thinking, I'm just a kid. I'm just a person. I'm not even an important person. What do my choices mean about anything? But God sees you and he knows you. And Jesus died on the cross for you so that you could accept him, you could know him, and he could be the leader of your life. So if that's something that you wanna to do today, if you're sitting there thinking, I want Jesus to be the leader of my life, then raise your hand for me. And as we have hands going up all over the world, let's say this prayer together as a family of God. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. I admit that I am a sinner and I need your grace. Come into my life, amen. All right, if you made that choice today, that is amazing and we get to celebrate that with you. So make sure that you go to a trusted adult or leader and tell them so they can lead you to what comes next. Because this isn't just a decision we make today. It's not a one-time thing. It's every day. And we're praying for you. We'll see you next time. Howdy, partners. It's me, teacher Jim Bob Canyon Rider Strang Slinger. And we're here back again with another rapid recap. This month, we're learning all about the Spirit of God. Our faith declaration for this month is God's Spirit lives in me and my barn. We have the power of the Holy Spirit in us, and He gives us a big power, bigger than a tractor. Isn't that cool? I've been thinking a lot this week of what it really means to have the Spirit of God in me. Um, and I think of it like a huge bonfire. Have you ever roasted a marshmallow and got a little bit too close to the fire and you can really feel the heat dripping down your neck? God's spirit is like a fire in us. But when people get close, they don't feel the heat. They feel and see the power of God's spirit within you and me. Well, that's all I have for you today, church kids. I'll see you next week for another rapid recap. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a church kid. Tracy, I think I'm finally starting to understand what it means to have the Spirit of God in me. Me too! Church kids, we hope you are learning so much about God's Spirit. And don't forget, God's Spirit lives in you. We will see you next week, church kids. And as always, it's a great day to, to be, be a, a church, church kid! kid. Yeah.